welcome to my channel my name is Caitlin today I wanted to welcome you to my channel like I said just now but um happy Easter I wanted to dedicate this video to all of the people in Paris with the cathedral and um, I just want to keep them in our midst as they go through the rebuilding of the cathedral but um, let's fast forward. Uh, as you can see by the title, today I will be reviewing the BoxyCharm um, April box, which I will rate them um, 10 out of 10, between 1 to 10, um, 10 being the best, but 1 being the worst, obviously, and then somewhere in between if I really, really liked it or if I kind of liked it and wish that something was different about them. But let's get started. So this was the April boxy charm. All the boxes look the same. They're all black. The things I've received in this box were on this sheet of paper, which if you would like to pause it, you can. That was five items. Um, and then this month's theme was peace, love, and boxy. So let's go through them one at a time. So the first thing was this pure festival palette. It was 12 pieces pressed pigmented, um, which they all looked like this. All really pretty, very pigmented. I thoroughly enjoyed this palette. I used his in Hidden Desert Epic Psychedelic Good Vibes piece, Fear Spirit. Um, I used the Wild Child, which was the pink one. I, I didn't think I was going to actually use that, but I ended up using it. And, um, I used some of these, like the, the gold and the pink shimmer right here, but only a little bit for today. I do want to say that the little face primer that comes with this palette worked phenomenally. It really held on to the color and it's kind of extremely hard to get off so today i put on epic good vibes psychedelic and free spirit and actually some of peace so i mixed a bunch of colors so like all of this row and then this one right here i also incorporated this one so those were really good this palette um it does say it's a pressed pigment palette but i would say for this palette each one was so bright so i put it on my lid and i just like briefly shaded it out so it wasn't as bright as what i put on and that's what i really love about this palette because every single color on here you could see it you couldn't it's not like you were putting it on there and it like your whole skin enveloped the color and you wouldn't be able to see it and you had to like cake on a bunch of it i literally swiped one little um swatch with it or with my brush put it on and it was like wow goodness and so i started blending it out but that is one thing i would give this a 10 out of 10. this out also retailed for 36 dollars the pure festival palette the next thing i got was the luxie summer days three piece brush set and as you can see I used them a bunch for this past it was actually over a week because I haven't I didn't post my video last Thursday I'm posting it today I used them a bunch I used this one specifically to put the eyeshadow primer on because it's kind of a shading brush but it's actually a small shader but I used it to put the primer on so I could smooth it out because it was it's kind of like the primer kind of sticks to it it's kind of like cementy so i wanted somewhere where i could just pat it in there and i didn't have to touch it with my finger because i wanted to to look and spread evenly this one i use for my coloring so the color actually is the color of my eyeshadow right now um because it's that uh that what color was it the epic so that's why but it was really good because it's actually a large shader and i just use it to apply my inner corner uh outer corner 
and then I cleaned it off and I applied it to my inner corner and I swooped out. But even under your eyes right here, it would have been good. Um, I used a different brush for my under my eyebrows. So that was a completely different brush. It was actually like a smaller shape. It was kind of like this one, but not as curved as this one. And then this one was the small contouring, which I really didn't use it for contouring as much. I used it to blend out my color. So once I put all my um, eyeshadows on, I just whooped it out to make sure everything was applied evenly and it wasn't like any residue was left under my face. But these, I would definitely give a 10 out of 10. I love getting brushes just because you there's so much you can do with them. There's a huge variety. And these also retailed for $28. The next item was the Artiste Diamond Glow Powder, which this retailed for $27. That was the packaging. That's what it looked like. It was a loose, hold on. Oh, just got it everywhere. All right. It was a loose shimmer powder, which, loved it i really did the last two videos that i um that i put on already for my boxy charm was it no for my fat fit fun and my uh ipsy i wore this and you can definitely see it in the picture i'm also wearing it today like you can see it right like kind of right here and then also right here because i put it all on my brow like my bone right there zygomatic arch if you really want to know what the bone is but this i will use forever because there's so much of this and you only need such a small amount i used actually the moda brush for um the highlighter and so i poofed it in there and then tapped it off slightly went on my arch and then like kind of smoothed it out but it was it's it's such a beautiful highlighter like i wish i could have put it more places but like my my base would be glowing so this i would rate a 10 out of 10 as well and then the last thing that i received actually no second to last thing sorry um the second to last thing i received was the steve laurent lip gloss and the last like the march fomo box that i received i also received a lip gloss but i didn't really like it at all um i think i didn't even give him like a two out of ten but this one I really enjoyed it like I like the nude color it, it like I wore it today it did wear off so I wouldn't say it was like a long lasting lip gloss but for the first um part of my day into probably after lunch this was awesome it sticks to your lips it doesn't get off of your lips and if this is the color that you like, then copy paste, it's going to stay there for a huge majority of the um, day or night. So then if you would put this in your purse, because I completely forgot to pack it, I could have reapplied it and it would have lasted the whole day. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 just because it, it didn't really last a, a huge majority of the day. But it was a really pretty color on and it was just a, a lip gloss. And this retailed for... $22. Okay, now the last thing that I received in the package was the Beauty for, Beauty for Real Finish Line 24-7 Liquid Eyeliner. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I didn't know how much I was going to enjoy it just because I haven't put eyeliners on, but it's just this, this pin that you put on your eyes. And it was super easy to put on. Like, usually the pencils, you have to hold your eye and, and put it on. But I literally just put my, my finger there for guidance. I swooped it on there. Had to make a couple adjustments. Made a little wing at the end. And ta-da. And it, it was, like, it went really well. I didn't, I didn't think I was going to enjoy this. Like, I haven't wore eyeliner in forever. Probably since I was in high school and I am almost finishing college <laughs> so this was kind of like a I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it but I ended up like really enjoying it 
So I would also give this a 10 out of 10. So with all of my products, I can say I I can't I'm, I can't wait for the May Boxy Charm box. And then in June, whenever we get the boxy looks. Super excited. And if you want to see what I get in June, um, for like I, I am getting the boxy lux but if you would like to see the boxy charm box i will subscribe and get the boxy charm box for june just let me know in the comments below if you would like to see the comparison between the two and then also let me know in the comments what subscription boxes you would like to see on my channel i will um subscribe to them just let me know like a top five that you would like to subscribe because i'm always subs already subscribed to boxy charm ipsy Fat Fit Fun and Stitch Fix. So just let me know, um, cause I can probably go up to seven or eight, and I I just don't know what what you guys would want to see. Just so just comment below if you would like to subscribe. You have more than likely can subscribe to my channel. And then if you just don't like how I explain things, let me know in the comments, and you can unsubscribe, and I can try to make your watching experience better for next time. And then also, um, I didn't realize if you just subscribe, it doesn't warn you that I post, um, like I upload more videos. So just hit the little bell button if you are really excited for my next video, because if you did make a suggestion, I will see it through and get it done. Um, and then just let me know what you guys think about everything. Um, watch the videos and give me some positive or negative feedback. Thank y'all. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be located in the world. Bye.